Hey, what's going on guys? This is Derek Ledwich from Strive Fitness Performance. Today we're going to go over how to log recipes into MyFitnessPal. Um, there's two different ways to go about this. Both are relatively easy once we start rolling. Um, obviously, just like with MyFitnessPal, you, uh, you can do this on your phone or the website. Right now I'm on my computer, so we're going to end up using the website. Uh, first things first, I'm going to click my or the food and then come down to recipes. And then this is the page that I would end up seeing. First one is recipe importer. What I'm going to end up doing is finding the web, uh, website URL for whatever I'm going to end up using. And I'm going to import recipe. From here, all the ingredients come through as well as the servings. I'm going to match ingredients. And then what's going to end up happening is I want to find all the things matched. I'll go through here. Whatever's not matched, I would end up searching for that ingredient. Obviously, the pork chops are the ones that aren't um, aren't in here. So I would make sure that those are matched. If I was on my phone, I would easily use the, the scanner. And then make sure everything else is correct as well. Okay, so make sure that all the nutritional stuff is, is correct, what we think is correct, portions things of that. If I'm taking out anything, I would make sure that that is adjusted as well. And I would click save and then this portion, this recipe would be up there for me to use so I wouldn't have to do it, um, um, do all this again. Next one is going to be what to do when you uh, do this manually. Okay, so what I would end up doing is I would click here and then we're going to end up using the recipe that I end up always using. All right, so soy chicken. I'm going to edit recipe. So what you would end up doing is you would put down the, uh, the recipe name, the serving sizes. At first, you're going to put one, and you're going to include all the ingredients. So the first step is to make sure that you're, you know, at, you're weighing everything, you're putting um, anything in here that you're cooking with, anything like that. Make sure it's all accurate. Here's where I would just start searching. I would use the uh, scanner again if I was on my phone. Anything like that to make it a little bit easier. And then what I would end up doing is I would click Save. And then the next step is a little bit more work. What you're going to end up doing is you are going to log, you're going to weigh everything. And when you weigh everything, this is the final result that you're going to end up weighing. And what you're going to end up doing is you're going to make sure you take away any uh, the weight of the pan that you're using or, or that you're weighing it in or a Tupperware container or anything like that. You want to make sure that all the numbers are not skewed. So you're going to take out those numbers. And whatever your meal weighs, let's say it's 300 grams. That is what I'm going to change the serving size to. So make sure you end up doing that. You're going to change the serving size to 300 okay, or whatever grams that you are using. I'm going to click Save. And then that recipe is going to be in there. I'm going to go to Food Diary. I'm going to add food. Click recipe, just like I would do anything else. And then here's what it's going to end up having. Obviously, with your phone, it's going to look a little bit different. But remember, the serving, the big serving size was 300 grams. So now I'm going to do the same exact thing with whatever serving size I'm going to end up using. Okay, so these might be individual serving sizes, anything like that. What are you prepping for for later on? Okay, so I'm going to weigh that. It's still the same thing. Take away the weight of the pan or the container that you're using, anything like that. Let's say it was 100 grams that I was going to end up eating. So I'm going to add checked. And then boom. There is your serving size. So as you see, it changes a little bit. So I have 41 grams of 
protein and 39 grams of carbs, one gram of fat, almost 300 calories. Okay. So instead of the 900 and just trying to figure out the numbers or anything like that, that might, that well, um, after, after you weigh it all out or just figure out the serving sizes accordingly, now we know exactly what we're putting in our bodies because we did all those, all, all those steps. Okay. So these are really important steps because that way um, we can still make our recipes and still have accuracy. And that's going to be the biggest thing. So at first it might be a little bit uh, difficult as we start to roll that. It does involve a little bit of weighing, but in a long run, once we start rolling, it becomes a lot easier and it's just a couple extra steps.